uh, this time we're in a three Jeep convoy heading north of Highway 19 and on K towards uh, three outposts known as Outpost Tom, Outpost Dick, and Outpost Harry. Harry, these had probably formerly been involved uh, American troops and Vietnamese troops. Here's one of them here. But at this time they were manned by regional forces, uh, sort of the South Vietnamese National Guard. And uh, there were some teams of American infantry up there, but they'd been sent up there by the local infantry battalion without a whole lot of uh, training in how to bring in artillery and things like that. So, uh, in fact, we had to fire a fire mission for them one night in the fire direction center and sort of give them a course over the radio on how to uh, use, bring in artillery using just a lensatic compass and not much else. So we decided to send some teams, the battalion commander who's in this convoy decided to send some teams out there and help train these folks so they wouldn't be put in that position again. A lot of, uh, this is, you know, off the beaten track, so to speak, so you see a lot of scenes of rural Vietnam that you wouldn't see from Highway 19. Of course, this is not like the uh, coastal plain or the Mekong Delta. This is pretty dry terrain up here, but they still, it was along a river, so they could grow rice. Here we're pulling into another one of the triangular forts. I'll try to append some pictures, uh, some still photos of how these things look from above. One of these forts was commanded by a former Viet Minh who, uh, after the defeat of the French, had uh, broken with the communists and was now on the South Vietnamese side.